Welcome back to Socks and Sandals. So today we are playing Akiba Strip, or Akiba's Trip, however you want to pronounce it. Hellbound and Debriefed. So I played the second one a while ago. Um, I also did a video on the channel before it was taken down um, back when I was doing anime. It is now May, and we're going to skip that because I will probably get a copyright claim. Unfortunately, you guys won't get to see that little animated intro, but uh, yeah, so before the channel got taken down, I did a playthrough of this, or the, the second one. This is the first one. It had an HD 10th anniversary remaster. I think it came out last year, and... Uh, I only just now bought it, so we're playing it. I won't be doing anime. That was something I did where I would upload a video a day, um, and each week would be a different... God damn, I'm fucking... I hit, like... I figured just being here would be enough. Anyway, uh, video a day, new anime game a week. So we're, we're not doing that anymore because I'm not doing a full-time job of trying to upload shit. I don't want to keep to a stern schedule any longer. I guess we'll do casual. And if this is similar to the second one, uh, after you beat the game, you unlock New Game Plus and you can pick any model, any character model from the game, you know, like pedestrians or main characters or whatever. So, I always, I thought, I thought that was cool. I think this is what I named my Code Vein character to. I can't really remember where I got the name Chisato from. I think it was from the second Akiba's trip. I did also play a little bit of Akiba's beat, but that game was a fucking disappointment. It was nothing like the Akiba's trip, Akiba's trip that I played. Um, and it took out basically anything that made Akiba's trip fun. So, I don't, I have no idea what they were thinking with that. I also liked the Akiba's Trip anime, too. I think I'm, like, the only person who did like it, but... I thought it was pretty funny. Can you hear me? I'm in Akiba right now, about that rumor. No, er, my comp. Wipe everything off my D-Drive. That's the last thing he said before the me message cut off. He hasn't been seen since. And af a few days after that, I went to his house. I didn't know what to expect, but I searched his D-Drive for clues. I found a photo. I could tell where it was taken. Akihabara, for sure. And in that photo was a girl. Beautiful, pale, inhuman. I know I decided to start reading when it was, like, already halfway through the fucking thing, but I was talking about nonsense. Yeah. I got I got the, uh, oh shit, what's happening? You. I think I got a little carried away. Hold on. I'll hold that thought. Sorry. Your kind just does that to me. What did you say you were here for? Oh, right. Your friend. <laughs> I guess you probably mean the guy I snacked on. I think I dropped what's left of it right around. Ah. <laughs> there he is. I mean, he's still moving. He's still alive, right? Is he your friend? That pile of me on the ground? No one else has bothered looking for him. He looks starved half to death. 
but still there's better. <laughs> Take a good look. You're about to end up just like him. Wait, brother. Uh, I was gonna say, are these gonna be related like they were in the second one? Rui, what are you doing here? Let the human go. Ah, seriously? The hell are you talking about? Have you not fed enough this week? There's no need to... No pun intended, sis. You suck sometimes. After all that, you want me to just let him go? Regardless of all that, the human is... He's what? Back on his feet? About to run off? Oh, that's cute. He's still trying to save his friend. <sighs> Humans are worthless. Eat shit! Brother! <laughs> Damn. Quite a roundhouse. Oof, that had to hurt. You know, now I know you why we were like... Your friend and saved yourself. <laughs> ...dying in an alleyway in that uh, animated cutscene. So damn fragile, you know that? No. Uh, this is why I hate kids. We're taking off. Lay those two together so it looks like they hit each other. What? Lucky Hopper's getting rough these days, isn't it? <laughs> Later. Later. Forgive me. This is my fault. This one you... uh, he's still alive, too. His eyes are also still open. He's like, yeah, fucking. So easily, but we... Right. Is there a sharp object about? I suppose I'll need to bite my own lip. Those guys on Pitter were telling the truth. We want to check out this back alley. Do you think we can trust them? Probably. All our info's pointing right to this area. You never should have let him go off ahead. I guess there are <laughs> absolutes within the uh, Akiba's Trip universe. The villains have to be, like, so the vampire characters, they have to have a sibling. So the, vil the villain has to be related to your vampire ally, the one that turns you into a vampire. Uh, it has to take place in Akihabara, of course. It's Akiba's trip. And then they have to have a maid. <laughs> Which, I mean, I ain't complaining about any of that. It's fine. So. It's a little rougher now than it was around here. But it's still Akihabara. It's like our own backyard. Still, walking down the street this late at night, looking for his friend who disappeared the same way? That is playing with fire, isn't it? Well, that's why us Akiba Freedom Fighters are on the case. That was also the name of the gang within the second one. Ah. This is all I can do. A poor apology, I know. On the ground there. Is that... We have bigger priorities. Oh my, he's a mess. All this blood. Wait, there's blood, but no wounds. Were those cigarettes on the ground? I thought they were pencils. He has marks. I'm guessing they're not mine. They're healing. No, tell me he... Oh, the other guy's down too. Damn, this one's real bad. We've got to call the paramedics. No need. Huh? Who said that? Who's there? We'll take it. I don't know who this character is on the loading screen, but she's cute.
Okay, they've uh, taken off all of my clothes and strapped me to a chair. But where am I? All I can do is wiggle. Who's behind that door? So, is he up yet? He just woke up, yes. And the results? We haven't had time for a full test, but the results we do have are clear. He's become a shadow soul. We're seeing significant changes in him already. His wounds are all healed, for one thing. As expected from that particular bloodline. Unsettling. Sounds like we have some more tests to run. Let me take a look at it first. Nice. This is definitely not normal. I'd say it's not normal. <laughs> the fuck? Like, kidnaps a person and then just strips them of their clothes. Really? You watched the Matrix trilogy way too many tell them times. Why we're called that? National Intelligence and Research Organization. Nairo is the English acronym. Oh, Nairo. Sorry. Exactly. That's how we got the name. Mr. Sedgemon. But enough about that. This is Sadako Mino, by the way. My right hand. The public doesn't know we exist. We take on special classified missions to protect Japan. Now, let me make one thing clear first. None of this is normal. You might have already guessed that much, but regardless, the point is, your body is changing right now. When did this game originally Let's come out? out in I guess, or would you rather if the 2011? I don't know, the, like, character models seem like they're from, like, 2008. I'd rather make sure you understand it first, but I'll leave it up to you. If you'd rather. The creatures who attacked you and made you drink their blood are called Shadow Souls. They look human, but they're not. They're basically monsters. We don't know everything about them. But we do know they're carrying out an operation called the Shut-In Project. They want to force the young people of to become shut-ins by draining their blood, which also drains their energy. We're a secret organization that fights back against them, and we want you to help. Their blood has made you powerful. If you join us... I can't can remember what exactly his plot was in the second one his big scheme and of course you'll get paid how about it i didn't make it clear enough that shadow soul blood she put in you makes you dangerous of course we took precautions but why'd you take off all my I'm clothes i mean i know the reason that's the Especially fucking premise of the game side. really They've always hated ever since the old days. Sunlight. Not just UV rays, but if direct sunlight hits a shadow soul right in the exposed skin, they turn to dust. It's the only way to put them down. Even Miss Mito here, she's a hell of a fighter. But without sunlight, can't do it. That's why we never fight them at night, if we can help it. And. It's also why we couldn't save you in the alley. For that, you have my apologies. Point is, you're a hazard right now. Hope you understand. Is this the uh, same voice actor for um, 
your uh, uncle in Persona 5. All that said, let me ask you again. It sounds Keeping like him. Us. Keeping in mind that if we can't get along, we'll have to consider alternatives. Now, what will Let me say something else. What happened to your friend is happening to other people like him every night. We've been keeping the reports away from the public, but there's been a significant number of victims. So please, you can help us put a stop to it. I don't care. The answer's no. Hey, what are your measurements? Let's go to the pervy sage. Rude. My, my measurements? Yeah, you know, breast, hip, waist. Why would you be? You're, you're joking, right? Asking me now, here? He does <laughs> seem pretty serious. How does this country have such a low birth rate when we've got guys like him running around? <laughs> Are you actually thinking about this? Hey, it's your call. You want me to tell him? In front of you? Well, it's not like he's asking you to strip down. Oh no, you know who it is? It's the, um... Uh, it's the narrator from Catherine. They may be the same person, but... The, the same guy who'll give you, like, alcohol facts? That man. That's who his voice actor is. Yes. If, if it's for the mission, fine. I wonder if this has put me on her route. On the top. 34, 23, 35. What what is the what is the brick house? There. Thanks. Is that good? Are you happy? Very well. Ms. Mito, take off his restraints. Well, glad that worked out. That window faces east, and it's almost the sunrise. If you'd said no, we'd have left you here till morning. Wouldn't have been anything left of you. Oh, oh, glad I didn't say no then. Can't have loose ends running around. Now then, your first assignment is to go home. I'll have Ms. Mito meet you in town tomorrow. We'll also be bringing those Akiba Freedom Fighters to the fold. Tomorrow's going to be a busy day. Just get a good rest for now. Oh, and don't wear anything too revealing from now on. Your face and hands can recover from sunlight quickly, so don't worry about it. Really? That. How convenient. But if you're caught outside, make it. Yeah, nice. I'll refrain from streaking in broad daylight. So what are your measurements? <laughs> are you choking? No, he's not a choker. He's a pervert. You see what I have to put up with? Knock it off! Let's leave him here while we still can. Yeah, yeah okay. What was going on with him? <laughs> his eyes. Shadow soul. Really? I got a bad end because I asked for his measurements. Fuck off. It was not worth it. Him? He's weakened, but his physical injuries weren't as bad as they looked. Just a pair of marks on the neck. We told the police he collapsed Fucking on the street. I can't believe they left He's me to die just hospital. because I asked for the man's you should pay him measurements. Up. See for yourself what a shadow soul does to a victim. Just in case you needed more of a reason. So in your case, I'll understand if it's a bit more complicated.
Seika. Front of Akihabara Station. My skin's tingling. It hurts. Let's check Pitter. No new updates. Guess I'll roam around a bit. <laughs> this is Satoko Mido. I'm here at the secret base of the Akiba Freedom Fighters. I'd like you to join me here and talk a few things over. I believe you already know the way here, but just in case, it's on Backstreet. See you soon. During the game, press options to display the mobile phone. Check your player info, access social media site, read information about everything you've collected, confirm your next objective. Read your Read your messages, switch to camera mode, see useful game information, use an item, and change various settings. Did you start working? Your life is over. Um, at the arcade, you can enjoy a game of UFO Catch. Press X to control the UFO and aim for the prize. Do you like to play UFO Catch? A hundred yen for one game. No, I'm okay. Oh man, the map's smaller. Use the Akihabara map to move to various locations. Press triangle to open the menu. Please be aware that this is the only screen where you can change weapons or clothing. Press options to use your mobile phone. Defeated enemies may drop weapons or items. Press X to pick them up. Check out what you've picked up via your mobile phone. A maid cookie. Weapons you've picked up can be equipped on the change screen. How do I... I guess... We'll do this. I didn't really get to explore a lot. Can you please help? Can you Charity please help? Partner. Support to save Susana Society. Can you hmm. please help? Hey bro. Can you lend me some cash? What, so he's just done? Can you please help? Okay. I was trying to remember how to, uh... <laughs> grab... an article of clothing. What is happening? What is going on? Can I help you with anything? If you have money, you can purchase weapons, items, and even skills. First, choose whether to buy or sell, then highlight the product, press left or right to set the quantity, press X to confirm. For your convenience, you can buy and sell in bulk. Old days. There's a maid over here. Hmm. Hmm. French bread is a weapon. Also, what is this music? Thank you very much. <sighs> Another maid. Welcome. Oh, it's a sales girl. Welcome. 
Pride and Fluffy Curry Bread. Ooh, that sounds good. Only 100 yen, including tax. How about it? Do I have 100 yen? Here. Tamed Curry Bread. I think that's also Cherry Me Lee. Sumomo. Afude. KCF. Kentucky Chicken Fried. Oh, there's Mito. Hey, bro. actually get like a formal tutorial mm. has to be canned Odin right would you like to relax at our maid cafe Hello. Oh, now she's following me. master would you like to relax at our maid cafe I need that outfit You look like you're feeling better. Reportedly, he's extremely fatigued and is resting at home. He hasn't said a word since the attack. It's a common after effect in the Shadow Souls victims. It can vary from person to person, but none of the victims have ever gone back to their normal lives. Society takes them for quote-unquote shut-ins. If it's any consolation, the condition isn't life-threatening. Now, allow me to introduce myself once again. You can call me Satoko Mito. Mr. Sejima has given me orders to look after you. Any updates from the top will come through me. We have a lot of work ahead of us. We do it to protect the town and the country we love. Also, this is a job, so you'll be paid on a regular basis. I'll email you the details on that. Now, about them. I told her my name, but I couldn't think of anything else to say. We just met, you know? She seems really serious, and I guess we're all kind of nervous. Except Sara. She's just over there being Sara. Pardon me? I tried to chat with her, but we really don't seem to have anything in common. I mean, I have all kinds of questions, but I didn't want to just dive right in, you know? Yeah, so... Awkward. Super awkward. So... The boss asked me to fill them in, too. Would you mind introducing us? Well, again, they call me Yahame. Yeah, the shop's been around for a while. Old-timey tech, modern tech, it's got a little bit of everything. People like to come by and window shop. I'm kind of rambling on now, but... Anyway, it's nice to meet you. Uh... Uh... I think I already said it, but, uh... My name's Gon. Yeah! My favorites these days are DBP. They're amazing. You just know they're gonna hit it big real soon. I guess that's DBP back there. The twins, who are probably also vampires. But then they'll probably leave town. And we might never get to see them again. And I know Because that's I'll also be how this them, thing works. It's still kind of sad. So that's what keeps me up at night. Wait, what were we talking about again? Well, for the second time, I'm Nobu. Nice to meet you. Well, 
Some of the lesser known ones, yeah. All the mainstream stuff just plays it too safe these days. I am a sucker for anything with Lolly Kudere in it. Kudere, you know, huh? Ice cold girls I hate Kudere. I hate it so much. Never show their feelings. So it's it's not even like a fucking soon today. My name is Sara. Pleasure to meet you. I am the chief maid at Edinburgh, the Orthodox Maid Cafe. Do please stop by the shop. I can also introduce you to other places that may fit master and mistress's liking. Whatever you would like, please do not hesitate to ask. Uh, I see. Thank you very much. Clearly, you're all a bit different from my usual associates. We have a lot of ground to cover here, but first, could you go on ahead and meet me at the front of the station? I I'll catch up in a bit. I'll fill you in later. Take care. Dirty Bloody Princesses is their idol group. With a name like that, yep. You can damn near guarantee you that they're fucking vampires. Hey! I recognize that. What the fuck they got an ad for their other game and this one for, huh? Female student. Hmm. Oh, she also wants canned Odin. No, get away from me. Not you, you need what I'm talking about. All these people that just walk up to you. Leave Akihabara. Vintage clothing shop. Oh, what? Oh. So this is the uh, clothing collectible thing. So any clothes I pull off people I can get to. She said she wanted to meet here, right? Oh, what is this? Well, look at you. Your skin says you're not you. What are you talking about? Sorry, but you're gonna have to die. Why? you this time ready She just kicked him and tore their clothes off. Are you hurt? That's the enemy we're up against. They're attacking people on a daily. Officially, they're written off as brawlers or bullies, but well, you see the reality. Our job, and yours from now on, is to prevent these kinds of incidents. We can't let them keep happening. It's time to go see. Shadow soul techniques. Now let's go. She's on the rooftop of a certain building. So, not the same uh, master. Because the one in the second game is uh, at the sumo ring. Hey. Jesus, fuck off.
it looks like it's the rooftop of a love hotel. It's been a while, Master. It's me, Mido. A long while. I was getting worried. You've been doing all right? Yes, thanks to your techniques, I've been using them every day. I'm not asking about your job. I mean, the other thing. I wonder if we're ever gonna get to see her. Well, uh, that's, uh... <laughs> oh, you're still so adorable. Anyway, um, I'd like you to meet someone. Yes, I heard he was coming. Not sure if he's qualified, but I'll see what I can do with him. I was getting bored up here anyway. Oh, thank you very much. Come on, thank her. Uh, it's all right. It's his first time. Hey, you. Do you love cherries? I love them like crazy. Well, do you? <laughs> that sounded very I was hoping you could teach him that technique today, actually. Oh, that's a shame. All right, work now, play later. I think that was like innuendo. She was referring to like his cherry, his virginity. Step on into the arena, and you come here, Mido. Huh? Sorry, was that too forward of me? <laughs> For real, though. Come here. Oh, what, today? In front of him? You knew this was coming. No backing out now. This is what we do when you come here. Every time. Come on. You know you want it. That's... But, but... Come on. Or I'm not gonna teach him anything. In fact, I'll do you one better. I'll cut all ties with Nairo. No more lessons. I mean, surely it's not what I'm thinking. I think it's that just meant to make you think that. So you want it, right? My special technique. But uh, I wonder what she's yes. referring to, actually. Say it so I can hear you. I want it. I want your special technique. Great. Now come on over. I'll take real good care of you. Just like always. Okay. Now, the first move you need to learn from me is the basic strip down. Just like how it sounds, you'll be taking off clothes. Not your own, mind you. No. You're going to learn how to take off the other person's clothes. For whatever reason, those shadow souls are weak against sunlight. So my strip techniques work well against them, I suppose. But who cares about all that? Fighting, training, Nairo, shadow souls. I just want to strip who I want to strip. Now listen here. The first thing you need is drive. The drive to strip the other person. You need this raw desire to rip their clothes off and expose their soft, hidden skin. More than strength, more than skill, you need that. Have you got it? Very good. If you have that drive, you have nothing to fear. No matter how it's many layers the itself. opponent has. Clothing that's hard to remove is just another learning experience. For example, a tight pantsuit. <laughs> yes, and now it's your turn. Try out the technique on one of my adorable pets. Who do you want to strip the most? Uh, you have a bear. I wonder what's in the bear suit. Now that outfit's hard to strip off cleanly. You might rip it. 
Are you still okay with that? I don't want to rip it. But whatever. <laughs> okay. If you really insist. But don't worry. Even if it does rip, you'll still get the basic idea. To strip your opponent, you must first understand your opponent. Wear down the shell that hides the lush skin. Strike over and over until its durability crumbles. To dodge the opponent's strikes, hold the defend button. If you need to fall back from a fight, press the toggle stance button. Do that, and you'll get a chance to smooth out your clothes. But be aware, you'll be wide open. Press the toggle stance button again to get back to the fighting. Now you take what I've taught you here and do what you want with it. Not yet. You still don't have enough drive to strip your opponent. Feel the urge. Awaken your instincts. Why'd she have a dog tail, though? Oh, cruel. Just don't stare. Remember, be elegant, swift, put your heart into it. Let the urge to strip your opponent flow through you always. That is the first step and the key to all stripping techniques. Run along now. Awkward pause. Awkward pause. <laughs> I guess she was getting stripped up there. Nice work on your training. Now you understand how to fight a shadow soul. That makes you one of us. But remember, you're just getting started. You still have a lot to learn from the master. Follow her lead and she'll make a top agent out of you. Whenever you can, go to her for training. If she's feeling generous, she might even teach you new moves. This just in. New orders for you. Ready to put your skills to the test? If so, come to the Akiba Freedom Fighters base. Honestly, wait. 
but... Honestly, it's more than just new orders. Awkwardly enough, I forgot to give you something. I'd appreciate you coming that... Keeping that quiet from Mr. Se Sejima. If you feel you have to report it, I can't stop you, but at least please don't mention that special lesson I learned from the Master. Please, I'm begging you. I have been to Akihabara. It is fucking awesome. One of these days, I'll actually get to go back to Japan and visit again. You're here? I assume you're ready. Take this. It's a shadow soul detector. We call it the mirror snap. Why do you call it that? Shadow souls blend in by disguising themselves as humans. This will show you who they really are. We developed it in-house, at considerable expense. Please, take good care of it. We also linked it up with your smartphone data for ease of use. Now, here's your assignment. We're going to test you in real combat. We've confirmed sightings of Shadow Souls roaming around on Backstreet. We've sent the Freedom Fighters ahead of you to see what they're capable of. Put your skills to the test by protecting them from the Shadow Souls. Two objectives in one. Find the Shadow Souls with the Mirror Snap, then eliminate them. Remember, this is 100% real. No second chances. Remember what the Master said about keeping that drive in your heart. And fight. Good luck. Just running into that dude. Okay, so how do I use this? Uh... Mobile phone and press the whatever touchpad to go into camera mode. Press square to take a picture. Vampire distinction camera. It's like camera on the mobile phone, yeah. Press square to use the mirror snap. Shadow souls will not appear in the photograph. Need to wait for a certain cooldown time. Okay, I don't know who didn't appear. Those were both there. Okay, she's real. See, it was doing the countdown like it found someone, though. Ah, this chick. Oh shit. Both of those people there. the strip combo thing. Well, you took care of the shadow souls. I didn't find my friends nice though. Work. I was watching you remotely. You passed with flying colors. Mr. Sejima was right about your potential. Surprising, actually, considering you had no experience at all when we met you. Regardless, now I know you're reliable. 
Our current target is Yu Abedo. He's the one who attacked your friend and injured you. He's our shadow soul. We need to find him and eliminate him. It won't be easy. He's already taken out several of our men. Honestly, if it weren't a direct order from Mr. Sejima, I wouldn't put you on this one yet. But your rather astonishing debut does give me some hope you can pull it off. To draw him out, I want you to do some recon. Southwest Main Street, in front of the station. This is a team operation, but we'll be taking separate routes, so please don't assume you'll have backup. We last spotted him here. Once you're ready, please make that your first destination. I'll email you more details soon. Also, you might need some of this. Tungsten. Thank you. You'll be in constant danger from here on out. You'll need adequate protection. So, keep your equipment up to par. That tungsten can enhance your weapons. The Kevlar, your clothing. Don't ask too many questions about that, just try them out. You'll want more eventually. Where it is, you can find some on Backstreet. Although be aware they're not usually sold in stores like most items are. Whenever you sell a weapon or article of clothing with at least one plus tungsten or synthetic fiber may become available in the junk shop. Purchase tungsten or synthetic fiber from the junk shop, then use them from the mobile phone's item selection to enhance your favorite weapons or clothing. That's all for now. Good luck. Even by Shadow Soul's standards, Yu Abano is a troublemaker to say the least. He and his minions have taken down numerous agents already. He's also very subtle and cautious, using proxies whenever he can, even for blood circling purposes. The only time he ever shows himself is when he knows he's holding all the cards. Every time we've come close to nabbing him, his henchmen have sacrificed themselves to cover his retreat. Honestly, I wonder if Shadow Souls even have any self-preservation instincts like humans have or if they're just a bunch of feral monsters. Target aside, I want you to thin out his henchmen. He's only got so many of them, and if their numbers start dropping, it could provo provoke him into doing something reckless, or at the very least, you'll poke holes in his line of defense. Once we bring down Yu Abano, there's going to be a major power vacuum here in town. It might sound premature to talk about, but it's something to keep in mind for now. Yu Abano's men henchmen have been spotted in front of Akihabara Station on West Street Southwest. Main Street Southwest, Jesus. The henchmen are all, all dressed up as band members. If you're not confident about stripping the yet, them yet, I recommend reading Let's Start a Band Volume 1. Crap, Acquire's gonna drop their big new game tomorrow, but my wallet's empty. Even if a part-time gig, it ain't gonna be enough. Even if I get a part-time gig. If you need something right away, you could ask the old dude in Occupus back street for work. He's a little shady, but he makes good things happen for people like us. For real, he wouldn't make... He wouldn't make me do anything too athletic, would he? Seems like he picks out jobs you're suited for. I've heard of that dude. Isn't he like the informant of Occupa or some shit? He calls himself the info broker. God damn, he's something of a middleman. I found him to be quite reliable myself. What'd he do for you? I'd been searching for an old book, not even the old bookstore in Gibon Gibocho had a copy. But when I met him, his people found it at once. What kind of book? The kind most establishments are too puritanical to stock these days. Call the police. Wee 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 wee. Alright, I'll go right there and give it my best shot for Akiba. Ahono Sakai. Then I'll buy the game first thing in the morning and play it all damn day. Seriously, at Diagon, I thought you were a decent human being. Same. I am decent. It's all perfectly legal. I checked. And if I held it in front of you, you'd be just as curious as I was. Yeah, you're probably right. I am kind of curious, I guess. There you see. Honestly, it's... Honestly, it's the best policy. I think this conversation took a hard right turn and left me in the dust, and I'm okay with that. Oh my god! Ooh, we dropped money. No! 
I don't want to visit your cafe. Uh, yeah, triangle is not opening the menu. Okay. Whatever. Like, do I have to be over here to do it? Okay, that's camera. What the fucking shit, man? It said triangle, right? I know it fucking did. Why in the world can I not open my inventory? I, I don't understand why I can't fucking open my damn menu. It's probably this dude. There he is. Black helmet. Check the far corner of the rooftop. You obtained clothing. Obtained clothes are saved in your inventory. Confirm your current clothes on the change screen first. If you step outside with any clothes on, you'll dive. Please put on clothes via the change screen first. Great, wish I fucking knew where the damn change screen is. If you're ever stuck, use your mobile phone and check your to-do list or notes. Your to-do list will tell you where to go next. Your notes can remind you of any game information you've learned. You have to do it here. You have to go to the map screen and then hit triangle. You guys really couldn't have updated this? You can change your character's outfit, select an equipable slot, then choose a weapon or article of clothing to put there. If your inventory is cluttered, press triangle to sort it. Okay. Can you tell me why? I'm assuming it's because I'm not the appropriate level for it. But I, what is the level of this article of clothing? They said... Here he is. I always worry my clothes are going to fall apart. But I'm already wearing the toughest clothes I can find. So what I need to do is make them even tougher. So simply put, I want you to find me some synthetic fiber. Optimized for impact and insulation. Much stronger than metal. If you weave it into fabric, you get really tough clothes. But listen, here's the important thing. Synthetic fiber is rare and it's hard to find here in Akiba. That said, certain shops do carry them. Here's what you do. You sell a piece of clothing that's already been enhanced. Some place around here must take old clothes. But yeah, if you sell enhanced clothes, then synthetic fiber will turn up on the market. You can bring in Synthetic Fiber or Synthetic Fiber 3, either one. Sell off enhanced uh. clothing and get yourself some Synthetic Fiber. Uh. This will make my, whole, make my clothes a whole lot tougher. Uh. I work in the IT business. <laughs> my job is indoors, but I do spend a lot of time yeah. outside. Here, you earned this. They, so I gave you synthetic fiber. Oh no, and you gave me tungsten 3. Tungsten's a rare metal too. Finding it's a lot like finding synthetic fiber. <laughs> but it's not much good to me, so... I appreciate the help. So... Is that it? Okay. It looks like like a middle schooler's drawing of anime characters. Yeah. 
a cool thing that the second game did, probably had a larger budget, is it had actual shops from Akiba. And you can go around and you can pick up little pamphlets of the actual shop and it gave you information about it. These are just like generic. Found a new shop on Back Street. You mean the place that used to sell figures? I think so. They sell clothes and a bunch of other weird random shit. Would that be a cosplay shop by chance? Maybe, but not sure. Oh, the plot thickens. There's a sign out front that says, We got tungsten. Guess it's a junk shop. You simply must tell us all about it, Yuri. Oh, yeah, right. Place is sketchy as hell, and the guy who runs it looks like he's some kind of fugitive. The plot continues to thicken. Believe it yourself, Yuri. Take that first step into the unknown. And by your courage shall the sun rise upon tomorrow's Japan. Is that some kind of reference? You go there then. Would that I lived... Would that I lived anywhere nearby. I would be there already if so. I guess I gotta take their photo first. Oh my god! What the fuck would you grab this dude's shirt?! Oh my god! I held, held square like fucking four times! And he just fucking like pulled his arms back for a fucking hug and didn't do anything! Jesus fucking Christ! Oh my fucking god! <laughs> KISS MY ASS! Okay, it mentioned a book that I can go buy that would fucking make that a little easier. WHERE'S THE BOOK?! Where are my messages? Is it email? Oh, here we go. Towani... Towani Musen. We got two new ebooks in stock. It's an ebook. Main store is located in front of the station. Okay, um, you know what, I guess let's 15,000 for some of these others. Shady selling tricks and quick and dirty art reproduction techniques. Okay, so this shows you, um... Nairo seems to trust you. So this shows who, um, whose route you're on. So I guess let's come in here and sell some of these clothes. And then I can buy them back when I'm actually 
Oh, I can't wear it because it's a woman's. That's why. Gotcha. That's why it's, it's pink, not red. I thought it was telling me that I wasn't high enough uh, level for it. Yeah, hello. Please take one. Restaurant flyer. See, these are the things that you would get. Um. What what did it do? I guess let me wait for that to go away because I. Okay, let's see. This item cannot be used. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and... Well, hold on. I have to do it on the map menu, which is dumb. It's fucking stupid. Was this... I'm guessing this was originally, like, on the Vita or something. I don't know, because even for 2011... Because this is the 10th... 10 year... Anniversary edition of it, right? So... Like... Everything just seems kind of dated for 2011. The graphics, just some like, like quality of life things, like having to go into the yeah. map menu to fucking, ooh, she's got flyers too. I'll take one. Yeah, hello. Thank you. Oh, it's the same thing. Oh my god! Oh. Why is it- What the fuck? Why is it not letting me attack now? Welcome. I like left combat! How? There we go. I have to switch stances back. Okay, I got it. I don't know where the other one went. But I guess whatever. Oh, he went back to his original position. <laughs> when I played the uh, Akiba's trip, Undead and Undressed, the second one, I did not realize until the very end of the game, I'm sure they told me at some point, kind of like they did with this one, that you can rearrange your clothes, that you can fix them. Because I got to the end of the game and there were a few battles where I was like, man, this is fucking hard. I was like, how are you supposed to do this without your fucking clothes ripping? And then at the end, it's just like an endless onslaught of fucking enemies. And... I got close a few times without healing, and then I was, like, just running around, and I accidentally hit the heal button and was like, whoa, what the fuck? And I couldn't believe it. Okay, so I did that. How do I do a power attack? I got an email. You Abano has been spotted briefly. Once again, he took off before the fight. Looks like he's heading for UD+. It's one of the regular haunts. One of his regular haunts. 
First, take out his henchman as planned, then if you can, see if you can catch him in the vicinity of UD+. We'll join you there as soon as we're able. You can leave Akihabara via the station. When you leave, you can restart the story from the beginning. You will lose your story progress, money, and experience, but your weapons, clothing, and obtained skills will carry over. Uh, no. What? Get out of my face. I don't- I wish it wasn't so rude. Oh, I didn't pick this up. Like, you can barely even see that shit on the ground. Oh, the maid. that there was a cop there too. Abano takes the bait. Away from this spot, but stay on guard. These fucking humans. What are they stalking me now? Guess I have been kicking up a ruckus lately. But just because my sisters won't shut the fuck up and stop giving me orders. Sisters, That's see? That's just because Rui's not pulling her weight. So my guess is that the two idols are like his older sisters or something. You, report in. The others are down, aren't they? It hurt. It sucks. I can't believe that little shit's still breathing. I knew I should have killed him when I had the chance. A human with Rui's blood, and he's on their side? How the fuck did that shit happen? <laughs> hmm? What the hell are you? What? Oh no. Fool me once. Ready? Oh, how'd I do that? Yeah. Oh, I didn't mean to grab. Oh, I guess to dodge those, you have to hit the, uh, that, uh, just before the attack. I wish they didn't turn blue. Really, like, it's really jarring. Not bad, considering she just popped your cherry. You might be good enough to waste my followers. But I don't burn so easy. I tan better than they do. Let's put it that way. Now, 
Time for round two. That's enough. Let's end this. Yes, sir. <sighs> what is he, your bait? Yeah, you sent one guy after me. I knew something had to be up. Hey, listen. We got off on the wrong foot, but we're in the same boat now. Trust me. Once you're the agent's bitch, you stay their bitch. So let me walk out of here. One time professional courtesy. What do you say? Yeah, I had to try. All right, all right. I Stop! Dumbass! No, no! Damn it! We had him! <sighs> well, now we know what you can and can't do. You're a halfway decent fighter. You still got a lot to learn. Although, even the Shadow Soul family blood shouldn't have this much of it. Maybe there's some kind of special synergy involved. Never mind. Just wait for our next call. You did well. He's too rough to say it out loud, but your combat skills are noteworthy. Even with their blood in your system, you're well I wonder if after you beat this well. one, you unlock the... There's a thing, it'll show an icon uh, next to... Show an icon of the girl next to a phrase, meaning that that phrase will raise their affinity for you. And he knows that better than anyone. So keep your chin up. As much as it's lacking from the second one, it does still have a lot of the same, you know, gameplay mechanics as the second Until one. Then, please get some rest. But and again, so far, the the second one, it, it just can't be topped. Like, it was so good. And Akiba's beat was just dog shit. I will say this is better than Akiba's beat. So... It has that going for it, but like I said, it just seems too dated. There's a large angry crowd gathering in front of a shop on Southwest Main Street. It could become a riot at any moment. The Akiba Freedom Fighters can't stand by while it happens. Would you please come and help calm things down? Okay, and uh, so that was an email. What's new on Pitter? Is it true there's like actual manhunting in Akiba? I've heard rumors that attacks are on the rise. You mean like where a girl dresses up like a high school girl and then pulls the victim aside and you seem suspiciously, suspiciously familiar with all this. Oh, fuck off. Well, whatever. It's none of my business. No matter what angle you look at, I'm just a regular otaku, okay? Okay, that's nice. I've got my checkered shirt tucked in my jeans, my bandana on my head, and my fingerless gloves. Sounds like you're really trying. Seriously though, Akiba's safety has gone to shit lately. Remember the otaku hunting case earlier? Right, I've, I've, I even heard there was a maid who got assaulted. Scary shit. Otaku hunting, man hunting, what's this world coming to? Gonzo! Haven't seen you in ages, buddy. How have you been? I got a better question. Why is it all happening now? It could be that Akihabara's culture and otaku culture have been drifting away from each other. Yeah, I can see that. Look at the more recent stores and count how many of them are chains. Yeah, some are, some are but where are you going with this? Akihabara is starting to become an office town. You know what? Fine, just ignore me. Originally, Akihabara was a... Originally, Akihabara was surrounded by office buildings, and the station was like a terminal. Plus, the traffic flow was convenient that spurred a redevelopment boom. Before you notice, the rent prices skyrocketed and made those subculture shops harder to set up. That was the nail in the coffin. Only popular mom-and-pop shops can survive nowadays. As a result, big name chains and office buildings continue to rise. I see. I guess even all those maid cafes would go get old eventually. Oh my god, I really wish it would stop trying to scroll on me. Five years isn't very old for a shop. The competition for all that space is just too fierce. 
Cafe Edinburgh is still great, though. I just went there last week during Sarah's shift. She's so cute, so moe. Such a waste that she's in 3D. I totally get why all those talent scouts are after her. She's almost literally fighting them off these days. She just wants to be a maid. I would hate it if this town went corporate. I'm going to start going there twice a week from now on. From Electric Town to Otaku Town and then plain old Office Town. Progress marches on. Yeah, sure, just keep on ignoring me. By no means is this progress. Akiba must not fall away before I can move there myself. If only you were here to help now. All of us in the greater Tokyo area must buy our goods from small shops only. Even the sketchy shops, especially the sketchy shops. When we come across a sad abandoned cafe, we must take pity and indulge our taste buds there. Let every back alley sing with the sputtering hums of off-brand appliances. Find the saddest establishments in town and by, their, and by their sadness let there be joy. Like playing a shitty game and laughing at it. Let our sweet clean, sweat cleanse the streets of Akihabara. Man, Yabe's on fire today. If you have time for such frivolous comments, you have time to act. For the sake of the town we love, the town I love for my sake, above all else. You kind of lost me at the end there. Same. Yeah. By Lucifer's beard. Did you guys all mute me or something? Nice of you guys to come back after the fight ended. Alright. So that is where we're going to call it. I think I, I think you can get my sentiments of the game so far. It's, you know, it's Akiba, Akiba's trip. Just like downgraded. It's like the people who demade Bloodborne demade Akiba's trip and this is what they put out. But it's fine so far. Um, it's just gonna take some getting used to after playing the like improved version and going back to this and having to like get used to all its quirks but Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and check back next time for some more Akiba's Trip. What the fuck is this one called? Hellbound and Debriefed. Bye bye. <laughs>